Hey everyone, I'm Casey Hollins, and you're watching the Sportsnet Digital Dose. And we've got Mike Cormack from Sportsnet.ca in studio. He's our baseball editor, and big MLB news happening mm -hmm. today. Justin Upton is headed to the Braves. Yeah, it's certainly a big trade for a lot of reasons for the Atlanta Braves. It, it's really taken them up another step uh, in terms of the National League hierarchy. they got to keep pace with the Washington Nationals in that division. Mm -hmm. They really want to win the division. You saw how important that is last season in terms of the playoffs. You really want to avoid that one-game wildcard playoff. And really, the Atlanta Braves were already World Series contenders. They were a legitimate threat. This takes them to another level. Justin Upton is arguably one of the elite talents in Major League Baseball. He's 25 years old, 5 to a player, 4th in the National League MVP voting in 2011. Mm -hmm. Had a bit of a rough season a year ago, but there's tons of talent there. He's under contract for three years. The Braves really got a gem here. The Braves got a gem. What made the Diamondbacks make this trade, do you think? Well, the Diamondbacks have been peddling Justin Upton for quite some time now. Earlier this offseason, at the last trade deadline, a year ago in the winter, there were rumors that he was on the market as well. Mm -hmm. And there's also been a bit of a buzz that perhaps he doesn't get along with manager Kirk Gibson. That goes into some other makeup questions. It's not necessarily about just Gibson, but uh, some commitment issues on Upton's part. I talked a little bit earlier about his, his injury issues in the past. So they're looking to sell high. I don't know if they did sell high in this case. I think they were looking to do that. I don't like the package that they got back from the Braves. But clearly they were ready to wash their hands with Justin Upton and just took the best offer that they could right mm -hmm. now. Do you think that Upton will be maybe a better fit with the Braves than he was with the Diamondbacks? Well, he's got his, his older brother BJ there, which mm -hmm. is, is certainly going to help. Two uh, Uptons are better than one. Sure, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, we should probably show that picture of them uh, that BJ tweeted out a while ago of the family Upton. Um, but obviously it helps to have his brother there. It's a winning culture. Mm -hmm. He can slide in. There's a lot of veterans there as well. It's also a young team, and he's going to slide in really nicely into a very deep lineup that expects to win now. And it's certainly not going to hurt having your older brother around. Okay, big trade. We got the two Uptons, mm -hmm. Braves, the Diamondbacks got rid of them. Maybe not a great fit. What does it all mean? What does it mean going forward now with these two teams, or with the Braves specifically? Well, it means that the Braves are in it to win it, which we already kind of knew. Mm -hmm. We knew that they're stacked. Um, on paper, they're a terrific team. And much like the Toronto Blue Jays, there's a lot of talent there, and it's all going to come down to are guys going to stay healthy and are they going to mesh well? Mm -hmm. I think the Braves are a dynamic team. I think Upton's going to have a terrific year with them. And if you're the Toronto Blue Jays, here's another team that's just taken another step up the notch in terms of World Series contenders. It's going to be interesting to see what Las Vegas does mm -hmm. with the odds between now and spring training concerning the Braves. Could be exciting. We could be looking at a Braves, Toronto Blue Jays, World Series. Would that be something? It would be something, especially if you're talking about it now before spring training has even started. Anyway, that's all the time that we've got. Thanks for coming in, Mike. Anytime. And check back in a little bit for another Sportsnet Digital Dose.